Hey, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me. I'm Laura Matt. Sometimes the video quality can be a little bit seedy, so I apologize in advance for that. But thank you for being here. I hope you are getting something out of this um, content. Live art demos. I've been doing them for a couple weeks now, and um, so I'm here in Arizona. It's gonna be I think 98 degrees today, but it'll probably be 100. And I do not have air conditioning in my studio. So, it's a little steamy, without question. But I'm here, I'm showing up, I'm doing it anyway. Today's gonna be ultra short and sweet. But um, I do wanna share a continuation of this piece that I started on Friday. This one here, this is a nice square canvas. It's a 24 inch by 24 inch. And I put the first layer on, on Friday. So what you're seeing is phase one. So I covered this canvas with um, leftover house paint. It was white, then I put a layer of white spray paint on top, just giving it a little bit more dimension and texture. And I left a lot of, um, like, there's texture. I put some clumps. So I wanted that effect of the texture. I'm not sure how much of that is coming through on camera. And then I put just a little, little bit of gold here. I love gold. If you've been following here at all, you may have noticed I love using gold. Um, I use a lot of gold spray paint. I use a lot of gold paint um, in general, all kinds actually. So I actually used a rose gold. I don't often use rose gold. I don't know that I love it, but um, just trying something new. I'm really trying to stretch my creative edge and use new colors. I have a comfort zone of neutrals, black and white, um, some gold, but I'm really trying to stretch myself to use some more color. And just for the sake of, um, you know, sharing, I'm gonna show you a few of those pieces where I have been using a little bit more color, bright, vibrant colors. Um, this is one right here. I love this. I do have some text in this. I'm not sure again how well this is gonna come off on camera. This is finished. Um, I think it's 24 by 36 or, yeah, I think it's about a 24 by 36 or 24 by 40. I will um, share this in my stories today and I will share the exact dimensions. It is an unframed canvas. I do think this would be best framed, maybe a white or a rose gold floater frame. This is for sale. If you are interested in this, if you like it, please DM me and we can talk about a price. But this is one of my examples of stretching my comfort zone and stretching my creativity to use more color. So we've got some fluorescent pink, some bright pink. We've got some like fluorescent peach, maybe you call it, um, fluorescent orange. And we've got some of this just a little bit more basic a little bit more like subdued orange, almost like a butternut, I would call it. But um, there's a message under here, and I actually have another word here that I kind of covered over with some abstract painting, and the message was dare to dream of love. Dare to dream of love. And I think it's super uh, timely especially in uh, what, what we're all experiencing with COVID-19 today. It's easy to fall down that rabbit hole of fear and what's next. Things are really scary, things are really uncertain, and it's easy to just like think about oh, how bad is it gonna get? Like what is next? So I dare you to dream of love, meaning I dare you to like dream in positive thought and stay in the positive thought. It's a challenge to myself every single day because I can easily uh, worry like crazy. So this is kind of like um, the message to myself as well. Dare to dream of love, dare to stay in that positivity. So this is one, again, this is for sale. If you're interested in it, please send me a DM. We can talk about price. Um, I want to share one of the live demos. The first live demo I actually did was this one here. For now, this is complete. I'm thinking on it. I'm thinking on it. I'm not 100% sure if this is complete. This is wired to hang horizontally. Of course, it could be wired to hang vertically, which I also like a lot as well. It could also, I mean, we could flip the wire around and it could be wired to hang from this, um, from this direction, which I also really like. So this is for sale. If you are interested, please DM me. I have not priced it yet, but 
I did do um, this entire painting start to finish was um, shared on a live demo. I completed this painting start to finish live and this is in my YouTube channel. There were three phases. I will eventually get this up on my IGTV. Um, I have to splice them up to fit into that 15 minute frame that it's allowing me at this moment. So that might be a second. But this is for sale. If you're interested in it, let me know. Please DM me here and we can talk about the price. But I would love, I would love for this to go into someone else's home. So DM me, that is available. One other one, I'll show two more. This is also really cool. There's a lot of texture, a lot of dimension going on here. Um, this one I believe is 16 by 16. I apologize, I don't have the exact dimensions offhand. 16 by 16, yes. This is, in fact, 16 by 16 inches. It's a square. This is also for sale. DM me if you're interested. We could talk about price. Um, it's pretty cool though, isn't it? Also, again, this could be framed. This could be framed. This would be cool in a gold frame. This would be cool in a white, thin floater frame. So DM me if you're interested. I'll show one more. Um, again, art with a message. Hello, I love you. I think this one's pretty cool, but again, I'm using a lot of orange. I, I got a lot of requests to use more orange. There's a lot of orange lovers out there apparently, so I thought I'm gonna try more orange, and I actually really like it. It's a happy color. It's a happy color, and uh, I think we all can agree we could, use, we could use as much happy as we can get on the walls of our home, our environment affects us in a very deep way and it's really important to surround ourselves with positivity and things that we love. So the message here is hello, I love you. This is for sale. If you're interested in this, let me know. Again, this is same exact size as this last one. So show you. These actually might be cool together if you want to pair them. Again, I think they would be fabulous in either a gold or a white frame. You frame them together. You could frame them separately. You could hang them together or separately on frame. But these are both for sale. Again, each is 16 by 16 inches and both are a perfect square. So again, just a few things I have going on that are available. Don't forget, I do have a 12 piece showing at Renaissance Square, a building in downtown Phoenix. Um, there are 12 pieces, one has sold. So there are 11 pieces left. If you're interested in any of those, I have been sharing them on my feed. I shared uh, number 11 of 12 this morning. Tomorrow I'll be sharing the last one that I have and I do have a video on my IGTV right here at Refashioned Art. Uh, at Refashioned Art. It's also on my YouTube channel if you'd like to watch it there. So um, DM me if you want more information about those 12 paintings that are for sale. Now a portion of the proceeds of those paintings will be going to a COVID relief fund or an organization of the buyer's choice. And that's something we can talk about. And if you know you purchase a painting, we will decide on where 20% uh, of that painting is going, the sale of that painting is going to go. So let me know. I'm gonna check the comments, see if there's any questions, comments. Hey guys, oh, hey Laura, it's so good to see you. Tamsin Threads, so good to see you. Tamsin Threads, where are you? Where in the world are you? Ty Fellman, it's so good to see you. So guys, if you have a question, please use that question mark button at the bottom of the screen. Um, I'm going to get into some demo of this painting here. Again, this is only phase one, so this is likely nothing near what the finished product will be. But I'm just gonna show, I'm gonna do just a few, I'm gonna add a few more touches. I'm not gonna work too long because it's really hot in here and I can already feel myself getting dehydrated. I just filmed a live on my at I am Laura Madden Instagram where I talked more about fashion and sustainability in fashion and uh, style and self-esteem and psychology of clothes. So I'm feeling a little bit hoarse. Uh, talking a lot already today, but let's get to some art. Let's see some, let's see some cool stuff. So what I've got here, I have a little bit of paint that I mixed up. So this is just some black acrylic. And then I actually added some, um, I wanna be totally transparent in what I'm using here, guys, in my process, because I really wanna encourage people to try this at home. I use some old nail polish, hate this color on my nails, but it's cool, it's like a coppery brown. It is OPI called a Taupe the Space Needle. Oh, creative. 
So I'm going to use some of this on here. And I think I may like how it pulls. Um, but I mixed some of that with the black, so it's definitely darker. So let's see what we got. I just have a little bit of my paintbrush. Again, I added a lot of lumps and bumps with the first layer of paint because I want that texture. So I'm just going to kind of like brush some on. And so the peaks here, it's going to pick up that black paint in a totally different way. So again, I'm just kind of playing around. And remember, it's just paint. If I hate it, I can paint over it and I might. I very well might. So I'm just going to brush some on here. See what I get. It's kind of interesting. I've had it for quite some time, but I keep reusing it, and I love this little thing, this little plastic squeezy vial bottle, because it is really, really useful to mix my own paint. And, uh, and I like the little squeezy, the nozzle, whatever you want to call that. So I'm just going to like throw some paint on here. Again, I'm just trying some different things. I feel very lucky to have a space that I can just come in here and throw art around or throw paint around and not worry about making a mess. Love that. And again, you just never know what you're going to get. So I encourage you to just play. Just play. Just see what you get. See what, how it comes out. So this is about done. I'm actually just going to add a little bit of paint, a little bit of water. I want it to be very thin. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Alright, so we got a little black paint. I'm going to add a little water. So again guys, this is nothing you can't try at home as well. at home, especially if you want to save your manicure, which hopefully, I, hopefully I'll be able to. I'm going to check and see if there's any comments or questions. Hey, Valerie, it's so good to see you. James, it's about time. Hey, Stefan. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please uh, stick them in. Uh, use that question mark at the bottom of your screen, that little question mark button. All right, so where's my paint? Here we go. So I got a little more, um, this is just black. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some of that taupey brown nail polish to this. 
And part of why I'm sharing what I'm using, um, I want you guys to just uh, really stretch yourself, stretch your creativity. Um, this is all about, this art is all about repurposing and upcycling and how can we make use of things that might otherwise be heading for the landfill that we might otherwise throw in the trash. How can we extend the life cycle of things that we already have lying around our home and just reuse them, repurpose them? It is so fun, I swear to you. And at the end of the day, repurposing is creativity. I mean, you, it, it requires creativity. It challenges and stretches your creativity to repurpose. Trust me. Other, I mean, if it were so easy, we'd all be doing it. But at the end of the day, it is easy. It's just opening your mind to, you know, looking at things differently and looking for beauty where it's not normally found. Some of these things that you might throw in the trash. I could have easily thrown this little plastic vial in the trash once the paint was all used up. But it's awesome for mixing my own paint. All right, so make sure it's open. So again, we're just kind of like adding some more strips. So I'm liking these long lines I'm getting, which is why I'm going at these angles. And um, by the way, this can also be a great workout, guys. It's very physical. So I recommend you try this at home. Kind of liking it. Kind of liking it. It's more black and like the gold is really an, like just background noise. You know, it's kind of like just like a hint of gold now. I'm liking the black and white, but again, that's my comfort zone. That's my comfort zone. So I want some more like little drops up here. So guys, let me know what you think. Are you liking the direction of this? Should I totally like paint over it and start over. Again, this is only phase two. It's not necessarily the finished product, although I'm kind of liking it. You know, there's something bold about black and white, as basic as, as basic as basic as you can get. Black and white, there's, it's got like a bold, fashion forward feel. I just, I love it. And maybe it's like my fashion side that has me gravitating towards black and white or black. I just, I don't know, there's something bold. I think this would embellish uh, a space if you have a lot of white in your home, you have a more minimalist home, I think this would be really cool. But again, I'm liking it. So something I wanna recommend, if you are gonna try this at home and you like doing this kind of like flicker paint or the splatter paint, you gotta have like real quick movements. Like the quicker the better. It's like just don't think, just do, just go for it. And you seem to get the best effect. And of course, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I have plenty of paintings for sale. If you want to take a look at my Instagram feed, everything you see is for sale unless it's already sold, unless it's something that was uh, you know, a work in progress. But check out my feed, and if you don't want to do this for yourself at home, maybe you'll find something that you can use that I have for sale. All right, so just a few more, and this is almost out too. All right, let's see what we got. Let me see. I'm tempted to throw some more of this brown, but I'm not going to. Oh, uh, let's see. Any suggestions out there? Any suggestions? Just curious. I'm not necessarily going to do it, but I'm just curious if you have any suggestions or of what direction. Um, I take next, I take next. I'm really liking this a lot. I'm really liking this a lot. But again, let me know what you think, guys. Phase two, if you wanna watch phase um, one, it is on my YouTube channel, and I shared that on Friday. That was Friday, May 1st. And um, I will probably not be back again for the next phase of this demo until Friday. Weather permitting, we are gonna have some record Attempts here in Arizona this week, which I'm not super excited about. It's only May. Um, but we are going to be well over 100 uh, this week. So stay tuned. I'll post in my stories when I'll be back doing my next demo. But again, phase two, I'm, I am going to share in my stories the before of this canvas, what it originally looked like. I did find this at Goodwill. I will share the before. 
I will share a photo of phase one and this right here is phase two. I will share a close-up photo of that as well. So guys, uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for joining Refashion Art. Again, fully, fully, fully encourage you to try this at home. Fully encourage you look for beauty where it's not normally found. You know, look at the items in your home that you may think are at the end of their life and, you know, stretch your creativity and stretch your, you know, mind to think about things differently and, you know, try and see, is there any other way I could use this? Or is there anybody, someone like Laura, who might, you know, have a use for it? You might know someone, you know, in your network or in your neighborhood that could use those things that you would otherwise be throwing away. I have a lot of neighbors and some friends that bring me old frames, old artwork that, you know, I end up repurposing that they just don't want anymore. I've had people give me a whole bunch of paint. If you have, um, if you've done a home project or a renovation, you may have tons of leftover paint. Please don't put that in landfill. I use a lot of that and my paintings. And um, I really feel good about extending the life of some of those things that would otherwise go in the trash. And you know, a lot of this is about spreading the message of sustainability, but also encouraging people to create a stylish life for themselves, a stylish lifestyle for themselves, filled with beauty and art, but also, you know, creating a sustainable lifestyle for yourself. How can you do it in a way that also um, is responsible for the planet and the state of our planet? So. I will get off my soapbox now. I could talk about this stuff forever. It really is my passion and I'm, I'm so grateful to be here and have this platform. So thank you for joining Refashioned Art for today's live art demo. Phase two is complete. If you have any questions, please DM me or you can put them in the comments. But we are done. Thanks guys. Happy Monday. I hope you guys all have an awesome day and thank you so much for joining. So here is a little close up for a connection, okay. There we go. I'm gonna pan out if I can. All right, cool. So that is phase one. Bye guys, see you Friday, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time.